Jetzt kommt noch mal man. Get these moves on, just come up off. I got it. That Barbie Oppenheimer movie. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Anyway, Barbie edition. Double Blu-ray. As requested. Got it. Not even know it yet. Got it already. Also, I got it. Double Platinum. Personally, I've never seen that before, but you requested, and like always, I come through. Also, also. The Incredibles in the hood, of course. Age old classic right there. Can't go wrong with that. Also. Oh, of course. Cocaine Bear, featuring Mr. Rocks. Oh, man. The Club of a Lifetime. You're gonna love that movie. Also, I got man. You're a real big fan of that Barbie movie because you won that sequel. Not even out yet. Got it already. So Barbie too. Also. the John Wick movies, every last one of them, and the ones that aren't even out, of course, got them already, also, hmm, Five Nights at Eddie's, also, sorry, it's just some of these requests are Pretty wild. Because <coughs> these are all requested movies by you, of course. Just want to make sure you know that. So, the next one I have. Dune 2. The Rough Cut. As well as... Moonwalker, the movie, of course, Transformers, the battle for Cybertron, Creed 4, and Creed 5, and uh, also about the Creed 4 one, apparently I'm not trying to spoil, spoil it or anything, but you do know that Michael B. Jordan is not going to be fighting in that movie, right? He's passing on the torch to his daughter. That's all I'm saying. And in Creed 5, they brought back Rocky Balboa and uh, it's kind of rough want to say that but moving on moving on moving on Edge of Tomorrow 2 also <laughs> The Batman 2 Rise of the Angsty Teenager Gotta say, you got good taste there. Fire movie. Seen it two times already. Also have The Last Dragon 2 Return of the Shogun from Harlem. Of course. Also, you're gonna love this one. Just request it. The Wolf of Wall Street, as well as the sequel, The Hyena of Wall Street, featuring the third hyena from Lion King. 
Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Do you know? I also have the Stranger Things with Tremors Gone Wild in the Hood. I also have, of course, take a wild guess. Pick number three, my lord. Pick number three. <laughs> I'll never forget that guy. Guess what? He got his own movie. Yeah, that dude from Shrek got his own movie. But it's more of a bonus to Shrek 5. Got it already. Or actually, hasn't that been out already? I was trying to get some of these movies confused because we got everything. Even that street racer right there who's making the next Fast and Furious movie. They're shooting him right now, but I got it already. Wild, isn't it? But also, let's move on. Also have Alita, the Battle Angel 2. Not gonna lie, that first movie. That was fire. Absolutely fire. Not gonna lie, I really, really enjoyed that. Although, yeah, some, some wild stuff happened in that movie. I remember that she had like this boy that liked her or something like that and did he not want a cyborg body? I can't remember what happened but I think he got shot or something like that and yeah that whole scene is kind of like ingrained in my head now and I'm like man that was whew, okay yeah you know what let's just go ahead and move on I also have Taxi Driver 2. What you know about that Taxi Driver? Oh, of course, what I'm asking you for it, you're the one that requested it. Sorry, my bad. But anyway, also, I got Top Gun New Blood. Rock and Roller 2. Friday the 13th. You're gonna love this one actually, because uh, let's just say the good old Michael finally met his match. This ain't no typical movie. It's Friday the 13th in the hood. And let's just say the entire hood was strapped and Michael Swiss cheesed. And uh, more than that, but It was rough. Of course, some homies lost the fight, but ultimately, the streets won. But let's just say that. That's all I'm saying. But of course, if you fancy something a little different than that, I also have Friday the 13th, the one where Jason lives. I mean, like, entirely. Whole cast gone. It was bad. There's no sequel after that. Jason just won everything. Yeah. Also have Scarface to Menace Society. Another collab. It's okay. But also, I also have Jump Force, the movie. This is uh, more of a live action take. You know how Netflix has that one piece going on, which also had the entire seasons of that. Sorry about these people making a Fast and Furious movie in the background. That's uh, Dom driving the cop car and uh, CGI Brian Paul, Brian Paul Walker. That's them racing in cop cars again. Sorry about that. But as I was saying, you know how Netflix has that one piece live action thing going on, which season two was confirmed and I got that already. And I'm going to let that slide for like 20 bucks though. But as I was saying, the Jump Force movie. It's going to be live action. 
and they're gonna add the cash for One Piece, so at least you got that. But they're also bringing back the Dragon Ball Evolution team, like those people. Hopefully, they can redeem themselves. You know, but that's the people that can. That's the people that are gonna act like Goku and Bulma and whatever. And uh, for Mr. Popo, they got. Hmm. They got Chris Rock to be Mr. Popo. I'm not sure why they did that, but that's what they did. They wanted to put Mr. Popo in there. Not sure about that. I don't know how that's going to work out, but that's what they did. And uh, for Ichigo, they got the entire BTS crew on board to play as Bleach characters. I'm not going to lie. At first, I was like, what? But then it just worked. That's the beauty of it. It somehow just worked. BTS Bleach. Gotta say. That right there is like... I'm gonna let that bad boy slide for like 50 bucks. But since you're my top dog. Well, like $2. Just don't tell nobody. But also... Star Wars. This entire Ray movie. Not sure why you would want that. Surely don't recommend it. But hey, it's what you wanted. Got it. I also have my man Frank in the plane. Man, he's pretty fast. But yeah, Frank in the plane. Two bucks. Also, I have Back to the Future. As well as Back to the Past. But you didn't even know about those. I just decided to throw those in there for you. Because I know you're all about that Back to the Future stuff. So, so you know what? Why not? Let me travel a little bit. Mess with a few timelines. And make it happen for you. Don't mention it. But also I got... I also have... Five Nights at Freddy's, as well as Five Nights in the Hood. Gone wrong. Absolutely wrong. You already know how that goes. Anytime it's in the hood, it's, it's gone wrong. Which reminds me, I also have this right here. It's, uh, it's, it's a very interesting one. You know how a lot of YouTubers like to collab and make movies and whatnot. Somehow they have the talent to make a movie. I think you know what I'm talking about. But these little influencers make a movie. And I think that's all I have to say. I got that already. All in all, I have a lot of movies with influencers. That I'm trying to come up off. So, you name it, it's there. Speed, Kai, uh, what's Pudgy Aiden? Yeah, Pudgy Aiden, got him. Uh, Andrew Tate, Top G. I can't say anything about Top G. Top G's Top G. Yeah. But just to name a few, I got them. They all got moves. And I also have the fight between the Top G. And Logan Paul and what's the other one? It's Logan Paul and Jake Paul. They both wanted to scrap and Andrew Tate. He took a few hits. That's all I'm saying. Cause I'm not gonna lie, the Paul Bros are actually pretty good at scrapping. They're pretty good. I don't wanna see their hands. I am let you know that right now. I don't wanna see their hands. Nah. I'm good on that. But anyway, let's move on. I also have Step Brothers, Meet the Flintstones, and Jetsons. Total collab. I don't know how it works, but it just works. And it was funny. Absolutely funny. <laughs> I still remember that scene where they had bunk beds, I think. <laughs> Bear with me for a second, but they had the bunk beds. 
think you know what I'm talking about if you've seen that movie. They got bump heads, and I think they were just jumping up and down, or a wheel was jumping up and down, and the bump head came down. <laughs> oh, man. You got good taste. That's all I'm saying. Hilarious movie. Absolutely crazy. Also, I have the Gran Turismo movie. Got it already. As well as the Forza movie. Based on true events. At least that's what they say, you know. Based on true events. Like, sure. I'm pretty sure it didn't go down exactly like that. At least I don't think so. Anytime they say that, that's when you know it's just a load of baloney. It's like, nah, you lying. No, it ain't happen like that. Nah. But anyway. Minus my personal beef with that. Let's move on. I also have Mad Max Rise of the Furious. I think you already know. You already know. I also have Iron Lung, the movie. Interesting choice. As well as Scott Pilgrim 2. Ooh. Of course, you're going to love this one. The Equalizer meets John Wick, but in the hood. Come on, you know already. Fire. Absolute fire. But real quick, seriously, let me know. I mean, seriously, let me know. If Equalizer, you know, Denzel Washington and John Wick got to scrapping and blasting, who do you think will win? Yeah. What I think is, I think that since Denzel Washington is pretty much known to die in movies that he plays in and based on John Wick being John Wick I think that John Wick will obviously win that one I mean I guess it will be a good fight but I think ultimately John Wick all day every day and don't get me wrong I like Denzel Washington but John Wick is crazy that's all I'm saying but also also have the Rocky Horror Picture Show Dogma. Your request, I got it. Also, I got Spider-Man 1 through 6, and that's an added bonus. Don't say I never did anything for you. Not even now yet. Exclusive. Movie dealer exclusive. Spider-Man 2 game. Throwing it in there. Spider-Man 2. Venom. Peter. Miles Morales. And, and, and. I also had DLC for it. See. The dev said that Gwen Stacy is not in the game. Do you really play that? Do you really? But she ties in so perfectly. Come on now. Don't let them lie to you like that. I've already seen the game. I played the game. Come on now. Now let me tell you, the DLC is Gwen Stacy. Now, I ain't going to tell you how it goes and whatnot, but I'm going to let you play that out. I'm just saying, if you can play as Venom, which you can, then who else do you think you can play as? That ties in so well. Come on now. I called it already. She's in the game. <laughs> also, as a further added bonus to all that, I got the Sam Raimi edition. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but you know, the one that did the original Spider-Man and got the web suit and whatnot, which they finally did justice to that game. You know what, I'm glad you requested this because uh, that's a super great request. You know, I'm a big time Spider-Man fan myself. I'm something of a scientist myself. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, I'm, I wanna say I'm super excited about that game, but I've already played it. It's just I'm super excited to do New Game Plus on that game. Let me just say that. 
it's going to be an absolutely fire game for you. It's already a fire game for me. Played it, beat it, and uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to love that game. As well as the movies I'm throwing in there for you. But I do believe I covered all of the movies that you requested. And uh, of course, as always, if there's any other movie that you want, just simply let me know. And I will jump through a few timeline hoops to make it happen. And, uh, yeah. So what do you think? Don't worry.